All right, man. First installment. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Back with another one, man. We back. We back. We back with a back. All right. Let me. I don't even know what I was talking about just now. Let me just redo this whole thing. What's good, you two? Back with another video, man. How y'all doing today? What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Trev, and I'm back with another video, man. As you can see, man, we are finally on the camera. We finally got the camera set up, man. It's real, real, it's real, real nice, man. As you can see, well, I mean, y'all can't see, but well, actually, nah, nah, y'all can't see, y'all can't see, but. We on the camera, man. We on the camera. And today, we got a special one, man. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and join the made movement. We got lit content on the way. It's gonna be lit, I promise you. Smash the like button. Today is gonna be a special video because today, y'all gonna get to know me more. We're gonna be doing a q and I asked some questions on Instagram and y'all, some of y'all gave me some questions and you know, some of my relatives, they gave me some questions, you know, and other friends, they gave me some questions. But anyways, without further ado, let's just get straight into the video, man. Doom. Well, first of all, where the hell is my phone? I can't answer the questions without my phone because that's what the questions are on. But let me know if y'all y'all want more content like this, man. Let me know. Um, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what content y'all want to see. I know some of y'all said pranks and music videos. But I'm about to start doing some reactions too, so stay tuned for those. I'm about to be doing a lot more, you know, content because of the fact that I have a camera now. So it's about to be lit, man. Just stay tuned. First question of the Q and A: How old am I? Well, oh, that's a good question. Um, I am 19 years old. My birthday is December 31st, 2000. Yes, I'm a New Year's Eve child. Literally, I was born the last day of the year, which is 2000. So, yeah. All right, second question. Second question up. Where were you born and raised? Um, I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. I was born, actually, I was born in Riverdale, Georgia, but I was raised in Atlanta, so... I'm born and raised from basically Atlanta, Georgia. Basically, all of my family is from Atlanta, except for my dad. My dad is from Michigan. He was born and raised in Michigan. However, he moved down here when he was 14 or 15 years old or something like that. But other than that, I don't really have any other family that isn't from here. Um, yeah, I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, man. Um, and I'm proud to say it, to be honest. Atlanta is where it's at right now. Third question. This question was asked by my sister. So shout out to you, Lavender, I love you. How is it being the youngest? Um, a lot of you all might not know, but I am the youngest out of five children. My mom and dad have five children. I would say it's good and bad because growing up, you get to see kind of a lot like what your sisters and brothers have done and like what they regretted to do or whatever. The younger me really didn't like being the youngest <laughs> because I guess I just really didn't have as much freedom and as much, you know, right to say or do anything as much as my older siblings. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? A lot of people would say being the youngest, you, you're the most spoiled, but honestly, I don't feel like that. I didn't feel like I was the most spoiled growing up. So, I mean, my brothers and sister would tell you different. If you were to, you know, hit them up right now and say, was Trevor the most spoiled child? They would probably say yes, but it's not the best, but it's not really the worst either. Moving on to the next question, man. Let's get into it. I really want to play some music, but I ain't trying to get copyright. One person asked me, early morning or late night person? To be brutally honest, I am an absolute late night person. I absolutely hate getting up in the morning. It is the most tedious thing ever to me. I cannot stand waking up in the morning. Like, I absolutely hate it. I will literally stay up till five o'clock in the morning and go to sleep for like the rest of that day if I could. Why did it stop? Okay, before I was rudely interrupted by my camera talking about the video stop automatically, like, for what? Didn't nobody tell you to. But as I was saying, am I earlier morning or late night? Nah, man, I'm I'm absolutely a late night person. 
bro, like, I cannot stand waking up in the morning. Like I said, it, I am, however, I am learning to wake up early in the morning because my job is making me do that. But other than that, man, I cannot get up in the morning. But if you really wanted me to wake up in the morning, like, I, nah, mm -mm, that ain't for me. Next question, man. Do you have any favorite shoes? The answer is yes. Typical Nikes and Jordan. Air Force Ones. I like all types of J's. The ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, the fives, the sixes. I think the sevens, the eights, the nines, the elevens, the twelves. I like Vans too. I don't buy a lot of Vans, but I like Vans. Sometimes Adidas, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, it's just pretty much just Nikes, Jordans, you know what I'm saying? Basically, shit like this. Air Force Ones, you know what I'm saying? Typical favorites, you know. One of my favorite shoes of all. I don't know why, it's just something about, it's just something about a brand new pair of forces and black and white, because I got both colors. I'm gonna show y'all, look, see, I got white and black. The blacks, I have the ones with the little Velcro straps, the ones you can add to, so I got three different colors of these. I got um, chrome or silver, I got um, just regular gold, and then I have rose gold, so yeah, just basically Air Force Ones and you know, Nikes, just any really like Nikes and Jordans and stuff like that, so. Yeah, those are pretty much my favorite shoes. All drip, no cap. All right, so the next question, and this is a really good question. Who are your top three role models? And honestly, I would just say my mom and dad really for just the two at least, because I don't necessarily have a third. I mean, the third, I guess I could say, just really the people who I surround myself with, those are like necessarily my role models or the people I talk to every day. You know what, my homie, Call him T, my dad, my mom, and T. T, if you watching this video, which you probably are, I already know you, bro. You a role model, dog. Love you, bro. Next question. Do you have any fears? And I think everybody do, but I mean, yeah, I have, I have fears. Um, I have a fear of not being successful. Yeah, I mean, everybody has fears. Like I said, fears of not being successful, that's probably one of my biggest ones, or biggest of all just like not being stable in anything that i mean like whether that's financially mentally or whatever that's probably one of my biggest fears is not being successful in what i'm doing and what i have going on that's probably the biggest fear that i have so to answer your question yes <laughs> i do have fears all right the next question i think this is a question that multiple people want to know i don't Probably not, but just in case you do, are you single? Probably as single as it gets. <laughs> no cap. This next question is a really good question. I think my boy Aaron asked this. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, my dog Aaron. He asked this question. So shout out to him. Uh, he said, "Who do you aspire to be?" And I aspire to be myself, man. I'm nobody else in this world. Can't nobody else be me. Like I said, I have role models, like I said earlier on in the video, but I aspire to be the greatest version of me. And that's facts. So no cap. All right. So this next question, three parts. Um, This is a really good question. I, my bro, Quay, you know what I'm saying? I already know who that is. Like I always say, man, like the video, man. I ain't even gotta say it. Well, I do, but I don't. Y'all already know who that is. He asked me this question. He said, also my sister asked this question. I'm about to break this damn camera already. This is a three part question, by the way. Like I said, what made you start YouTube? What made me really start YouTube is, you know what I'm saying? I see all these, these other people my age and a little older, but I see all these people my age and a little older and I see, you know, that they doing better than what I could be doing. And it just sort of kind of like got in my brain that if they could do it, why can't I do it? It's just kind of one of them things. And 
Another reason is I just want a better life for me and my family and the people around me. The people who, you know, like supported me and the people who raised me who, you know what I'm saying, who did this thing with me. You know, I just want a better life for me and them. But like I said, if you can do it, I can do it too. Three part question, like I said, the next um, question is what motivated me to do YouTube? Like I said before, the same reason I've seen people my age that's a little bit older or sometimes even younger that's doing it uh, doing better than what i'm doing or doing it better than me to answer your question that's what motivated me to do it all right so this next one is like well, still in the same topic all right this next one is still in the same topic but who are my favorite youtubers this is a good question i, a, I got still got a lot one's at the top of my brain p2 DDG, Duke Dennis, Lua, or as y'all know him as B Lou, is this gaming YouTuber called Trevor Martin. He got the same name as me. He one of my favorites. The Prince family, destroying McQueen, CJ is so cool. I have a lot, man. Yeah, man. Those are my favorite YouTubers. All right. So this is the last question of the Q and A, and it is a good one because this is one that's really been thought out. Whoever asked this, I forgot, but. Shout out to you. Where is somewhere you've always wanted to travel? And to answer your question, I would say Australia. I don't know why for like the past three to five years, I've been just dreaming about Australia. From what I've seen on YouTube and Google, it's just something about the atmosphere of Australia, man. It's It just look amazing. I've been looking at the water, the, the, the trees you know what i'm saying the atmosphere all types of stuff like that you know how you look up a place and you know you just think about going there one day and you just be like oh man i i would love to go there one day so yeah australia definitely that place to wrap it up man that's there's your q a man please ask more questions down below if you still want to learn more about me i will do another q a i'm on the camera now so I will be pushing out mad content throughout the month of August and the rest of my whole life. But real talk, I'm serious about this YouTube stuff, y'all, man. Honestly, I've been kind of upset about how I haven't, you know, been growing that much lately. But you know what I'm saying? It's I know it's gonna come with time and hard work and dedication. But seriously, if you could share this video, smash the like button, please. I would much appreciate it. Please share the video to your uncles, your aunties, your whoever, your sisters, your brothers, your uncles, your aunties, your nieces, your nephews, whoever you gotta share it to, please share the video. Please tell them to subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button, always. I thank you for watching this video. I love you, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. No cap.